Today we're doing an easy Traeger turkey. Nothing complicated about this recipe, but it still tastes good. So you need turkey, salt, pepper, and some other spices if you want. I used rosemary because I got a ton of it. Now you're going to take the turkey out of the package, remove the neck and giblets. We're going to coat it in our spices, we're going to smoke it, and then we're going to cook it at 325. Traeger acts like a convection oven, so it, it goes fast. 12 pound turkey in two and a half hours. Today's video is easy turkey on the Traeger. We're going to use salt and pepper, and because I've got a lot of rosemary, got a rosemary bush, we're going to use rosemary. So that's it. That's all we're going to use for spicing. I'm going to salt and pepper the bird, stuff it full of rosemary. Like I said, I've got a lot of it. We're going to stick it on the Traeger. I'm going to smoke it for an hour. If you're doing this in the oven, you don't have to smoke it. Then I'm going to cook it at 325 until the bird hits 180 degrees. That's a 12 pound bird. I'll be checking it after about two, two and a half hours to make sure I don't overcook it. When it hits 180, we're going to pull it out and eat it. I don't bother rubbing it with anything, oil or butter. I think salt and pepper is good enough. So that, the rest of the video is going to be me prepping the bird and sticking it on the Traeger and uh, checking, the, check, checking the Traeger and you'll get some pictures of the, the end product. Cooking outdoors, I like cooking outdoors because it's easy to clean up afterwards. Got a 12 pound bird today. Turkey is not all that hard to cook. It's kind of like cooking a chicken, just a little bit bigger. There's, a, there's an important difference between ch turkey and chickens, and that's you don't get as much in the cavity. There's the neck. When you go to find the giblets, they're in the, uh, they're in the neck cavity, unlike a, a chicken where they're always in the regular cavity. That's important. Uh, I carved a turkey once and, and found the giblets after I'd cooked it. That was awkward. All right. I'm wearing gloves today so that I don't feel compelled to wash my hands every time I touch something other than the turkey. I'm not going to bother cleaning the turkey, washing the turkey. I don't really find that, think that's necessary. All I'm going to do is I'm going to heavily salt and pepper this thing. I'm going to put the salt and pepper all over the skin. I'm going to put a little bit inside the cavity. That's including the back and the breast. Last year's video I used a lot of paprika. I think this year I'm not going to use none. Last year I also tried to get spicing up between the skin and the breast and I ended up ripping the skin which made for an interesting video and interesting turkey. Well, this year I'm not going to even try that just because I didn't like, I don't want to risk it. All right, lots of salt now. Now a lot of people, you know, you can always peel the salt off. So don't worry about putting, you no, know, you can heavily salt it. You know, don't cake the salt on, but you can heavily salt it. You can use kosher salt, you can use regular salt. All right, so like I said, I've got a ton of rosemary because I've got a rosemary bush. I'm just going to stuff the rosemary into the cavity. I'm going to put some up in here where the neck was. Rosemary is real aromatic. So just, just having the rosemary in the bird is going to... The, the scent of the rosemary, the spice of the rosemary is just going to permeate the bird. Like I said, make sure you get lots of salt and pepper on it. Now it's time to turn the Traeger on. I'd had the Traeger off to this point so the, the video wasn't, wasn't terribly loud with the Traeger in the background. Well, while the Traeger's warming up, I think I'll sprinkle some rosemary over the top just because I picked way more than I need. Rosemary is going to char and burn during the uh, cooking. Uh, I, I'm not concerned about that because we're going to we're going to be pulling the skin off to eat anyway. You know, if you really want to have 
if you want to eat the skin, you might not want to put this on. I'm not going to bother basting this thing either. Just, you know, I, I found that I find that meat's plenty good without basting. So we're going to put it on smoke for an hour. The bird's been uh, sitting out, so it's room temperature, so the smoke will really get a chance to permeate it into the bird. The only thing I want to do is try and wrap it up so the wing doesn't stick out too much. We'll be back in an hour now that the bird's in the trigger. And we're going to, you know, an hour on the smoke. We're back after 90 minutes on smoke. The bird is looking very nice. Here's another shot of the bird. In the summer, we'll smoke as high as 180. We're smoking more like 120 right now, so that's great. Put in clean foil on the bottom because we want we don't want the smoke from uh, old cruddy food. We want the smoke from the nice uh, nice wood chips we have. Cooking today with a mixture of mesquite and apple. Now it's time to turn up to 325. And I'm going to let it cook for two hours, at which point I'm going to start taking the temperature. I'm going to open this up. I've been cooking it for two hours at 325. Before that, we smoked it for 90 minutes. Turkey is looking great. We've got some juices flowing down. Another reason why you want to change out this foil before you start cooking. Skin's browned up really nicely. Again, no butter or anything like that. We're going to take the temperature and see how much longer we need to cook it. You got to get it to 180. Once it gets hot, I'm figuring about a degree a minute. We are at 150 degrees after two hours. So I'm going to cook it another 30 minutes and check again. The light's fading fast. This has been in two and a half hours at 325. Before that it was in 90 minutes on smoke. Let's check the uh, temperature. At two hours, this was at 155 degrees. Put it in another 30 minutes. We're almost 170. We're gonna need another 10 minutes, and then we'll check again. I think we'll be at 180 at that point. Uh, I'll get a better picture of this turkey once it's inside, and uh, unfortunately, I just don't have the light out here to, to really show you how good this thing looks. Well, 170. The thermometer's reading 180, so it's time to pull it off. I've got these heat proof silicone gloves. They're good for temperatures uh, as high as meat goes, but nothing higher than that. It's time to bring the turkey in. We'll get a better picture inside. Well, the turkey looks great, and it tasted great too. If I had to do it again, I probably would have cooked it five minutes less. Uh, carving it up was fine. Uh, that heat-proof glove really helps when you're carving it, and it was a pretty tender bird. You see the wing just popped right off there. And with a little bit of practice, carving up one of these things is pretty easy. Take the, the leg and the thigh off. Legs pretty. It was pretty easy on this one. It just came right off. Here goes the thigh. I mean, this turkey was very, very tender, and it was pretty tasty with just the salt and pepper. You know, I didn't do a brine. I didn't use a special mix of spices. I mean, that's all well and good, but it's a uh, turkey's pretty tasty as is. Salt and pepper is really, in my opinion, all you need, and pretty easy to carve up. 
Oh, you can see I haven't pulled the rosemary out of the uh, neck cavity. Unlike the, the, the cavity where the rosemary got dried out and charred a little bit, which was fine, didn't taste bad, that rosemary in the, in the neck cavity was, was still moist and tender. So, anyway, turkey Traeger, pretty easy. Salt, pepper, smoke it for a little while if you want, and then cook it at 325 until, you're, uh, until it hits 180. Traeger acts like a convection oven, so it cooks pretty quick. 12 pound bird in two and a half hours, maybe just a touch over. Maybe in the future I'll uh, spritz it or pour some apple juice over the turkey uh, part, part of the way through just to try and keep it a little bit more moist. If you decide to do a turkey on the Traeger, good luck and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I've got a couple videos on uh, barbecue ribs. Check those out if you want, and I'm going to be putting more videos up on the about Traeger cooking as as uh, as I cook more. And we'll wrap this video up. Thanks for watching, 